What up, candle peeps? Or as how I usually start my videos, hello, my fellow candle enthusiasts. Today's video is gonna be all over the place. Um, I shot a video called The Good, Bad, and the Ugly when I first started doing reviews a couple years back. And that's very much what's going on today. So we start with the good, post burn. So I've got some post, I've got some pre, um, white pumpkin. I loved this candle. Um, so I've burned this, I don't know, three, four times now. Um, sometimes when you have a candle like this, all you smell is the burnt wicks. And unfortunately, that's what I'm smelling right now. However, when this is burning, this is just so warm and comfy and co like comforting. Did I say that already? There's something about this candle that like is white and creamy, if that makes sense. Like you can tell it's not like an orange vegetal pumpkin. And the spices in here are not overwhelmingly cinnamon. I think the first note was ginger, gingered white pumpkin, which is bomb. It's so freaking good. So I love like warm spices and that blend, but sometimes the red hot cinnamon is just off-putting to me or takes me to like craft store or just it's just so basic this is none of that yes it's a pumpkin candle but it's so good I really like this candle and I have it in my basket again I really really want another one gingered white pumpkin caramel glaze and warm blended spices um, this is, this is everything I want from a candle strong too. Um, I would give it an eight on uh, burn. So that has been excellent. I finally did get, I said when I did a cold review on this that I thought it was going to smell a lot like a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It doesn't. This, oh man, this is so heavy. Like it smells so intense. Um, vanilla is not my favorite note. I don't mind it when it's like blended in with a candle. This is extremely vanilla-y. Um, however, I think Bath and Body Works does their marshmallow candles so well. Um, I've had multiple, multiple variations of their marshmallow candles. There's something about this that tells me that this is not an edible situation though. It doesn't smell like a marshmallow I would put in my mouth. It does have some spice in there, but I think that vanilla almost has like a body care vibe to it. There's no sandalwood in here that brings it there. This is all, I believe they were all edible. Um, yeah, it, like in notes, but I would not eat this, no way. Maybe when it burns, also this definitely has a, you know, this is something that's going to smell so much better burning. I know it. But the spices that are in here are really nice too. Um, this is Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, and homemade marshmallow with drizzled caramel. So really kind of similar there on the notes, but they're definitely different enough for sure. Um... And I, I definitely prefer this one, at least from the get-go. <laughs> smells like wet, uh, the wicks right now. Yucky, yucky. Um, so that was the good. Now we'll go to the... Oh, let me tell this too. I might as well do a post on this. Oh my God. So Tropical Spice, I've had this for a while now. And I knew that I wouldn't be able... To, I wouldn't burn this until um, fall. I didn't start burning my fall candles until September 15th. I was like so putting that off. Um, so this has got, um, coconut, what is this? Tahitian vanilla, fresh coconut cream, dash of nutmeg, cinnamon stick, a cinnamon stick garnish. Um, I had three clients come to my house yesterday and all three of them complimented me on this candle. You gotta love that. I don't love this candle. It's just okay to me. I think it's really light. So maybe I'm developing nose blindness to it in the house because seriously, three for three in one day, that's, that's an A plus in my book, but I wouldn't buy this again. Um, 
I thought, it, especially like on cold and with the notes, that it was, I know this is not a new candle. This came out years ago too. Um, but the, the coconut cream is totally there and then those spices are right behind it. And so it's not like, like a tropical fruity situation. It's very fall with those fall spices. And so it was really kind of unique to me. I was really excited about this, but it's just the throw for me is just not there. Um, yeah, it's just very mild. It is a wicked burner. I mean, look at these mushroom tops. I've been trimming it like crazy and it's sooting. Um, so it's a really, really hot burner. It's got thick, thick wax, uh, wicks rather. I always, I can say wicks and wax all the time. Confusing ours. That was the good, now the bad. Oh. I knew that these candles were regrettable because after I purchased them, I really started watching the reviews on these and hearing. Could not agree more with this one, toasted coconut cupcake. Did I read you the notes on this one? Yes, well, I told you what they were. Yes, I did, okay. Um, toasted coconut cupcake. This is, it's so basic. There's nothing exciting about this. This is kind of waxy, kind of plasticky on cold. It could get more, um, could get nicer as it was burning, but I don't care to burn it. I will really try to uh, sell this candle. Um, yeah, so plasticky, waxy, um, and then a little vanilla, uh, a little coconut, and then lastly, there is some almond. Um, but not almond in the way that they do almonds so well on some other candles. It's, it's really quite subdued. I also, to me, this smells very like cold. There's no warmth in here. I don't get any bake note at all. So I would say that coconut and almond were a bit more like, like a almond joy. So you're not getting any crusty, any cake, any biscuit, anything like that. It's, it's cold, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's just, this is just okay. Um, so I don't want that, that's, no. Nope. And then this one, oh my God, I have nothing nice to say about this candle. Ooh. What a shame, what a waste of glass and wax. This smells terrible. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe I'm smelling something yeasty there. I, I, I mean, my husband brews beer. I know what yeast smells like on the kitchen counter or, you know, when he's, when it's out in the kitchen. Maybe that like kind of <laughs> is maybe what they're trying to get to be a yeasty smell in here. I kind of get like wheat bread with like honey drizzled over it. So it's not like a sweet caramel or a sweet frosting or any of those, those ways to sweeten a candle that I think smell delicious. Um, it's, it's like the sweetness that you just almost can't even put your finger on. Where does it come from? And bread. Um, I've never smelled the baguette candle. That just isn't, you know, fresh bread baking is like kind of one thing. But as far as my candles go, I just want something like really much more punchy. Yeah, so I don't get any spice in here. I definitely don't get pumpkin. Bread with honey. Mech. No, 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 no. Glazed donuts warm pumpkin spices and uh, sprinkled with powdered sugar. Nope, don't like it. I hope somebody will take this off my hands. These labels were terrible. I know I'm the last one to the party there, but these are just ugh, not great. And then, oh, I forgot a good one over here. Oh, out of my reach. <laughs> this one was good. Um, ghoul friend arrived. Um, this one is a sweet fruit mixed with some floral notes. And I really like that. This, I won't burn until the summertime. This was like, kind of like, so you're getting like a white flower or maybe like a dewy petal is a note that they use a lot. So some sort of flower. And then I get almost like a nectarine. It's tart. It's sweet and tart at the same time. So the fruit's done really well. Yeah, I like it. So it is dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. So pretty wax color there. Um, yeah, so I'll burn this one in the summertime. 
kind of reminds me a little bit of like Perfect Peony, how at that was what the, the flowers with a little bit of apple. So the, the flower and the, and the fruit goes really well together. So that was part of the good. Now the ugly, we're finishing up with the ugly. Look at this mess. So this is mango water. I ordered two more of these for my collection because I really liked um, this candle. Um, there's no third wick in there. So it must have been a problem with the, um, like the pour when they were making this because both candles came that way. So the first one that I opened, this is like a mess, mess, mess. I was like, oh, is the wick buried? So I took a toothpick and tried to like dig it out. There's no wick in there and there's no hole. I actually have my own wicks from sometimes I take a whole bunch of wax that are similar scents and I'll make a bathroom candle. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. Um, and so I thought that I could pop a wicks up a wick up, but there's no hole for me to do that. That's a hot, hot mess. Um, so that's such a bummer. Um, I did get refunded on these candles, um, but I mean, maybe I'll boil them on the, like, you know, simmer them on the stove or something, because the smell is amazing. It's a really good candle, super pungent, really, really strong, um, but that's, that's such a bummer. Okay, guys, I've got another package coming um, in the mail. There's a couple of new ones for me in there. I can't wait to review those as well. I hope you are having an awesome fall. And I hope you get a great sale. Ciao.